Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 4 from the May 2008 PUA paper 2. If you want to see the solutions to the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so in this question, we actually have 40 accounts to do, so we're going to take them one at a time. It says the financial year of L. McLeod ended March 31st, 2008. The data below provides information on general expenses, insurance expense, rent revenue, and commissions revenue. Now, what they want us to do for each account is to enter the information given to us and find the income statement figure. In the case of the expenses, it means the expense incurred for the period. And in the case of the revenue, it means the revenue earned for the period. Okay, so if you need to check out my any videos on expense accounts, I'm going to put that card up there to show you how to do expense accounts. I actually think I go through this exact question there as well. So, uh, and I go through others. So you might get, you might get uh, more bang for your buck from that video, but I'm gonna just, of course, do this video as well, just to complete this whole particular question um, playlist for this paper for this year. Anyhow, um, let's get into the general expenses account, shall we? So it says amount owing April 1st, 2007 was $35. Amount owing means the expense has been accrued an accrued balance at start, right, for an expense is classified as a current liability, as well as an accrued balance at end. So an accrued expense is a current liability. The balance will therefore be brought down on the credit side like this. Okay, the amount paid during the year was 1500. So when you pay an expense, you're going to credit the cash book and debit the expense account. So you're going to see that debit here. Okay, next, amount owing at March 31st, 2008 was 47. Okay, so we are still owing or accrued at the end, which means it's still going to be brought down on the credit side like this. But prior to being brought down on the credit side, you have to be carried down on the debit side like that. So of course, it should also say 31st of March. Now, we're missing a figure. That figure that's missing is the income statement figure for general expenses accrued. Incurred, sorry, general expenses incurred. How do we find that figure? You balance off the account. And they might say, but Chris, the balance is already there. Right. But what I mean is you still have to balance it off to find the missing figure. How do we do that? We add up the items on the debit side and subtract the item on the credit side. And we're going to get the missing figure. In this case, the income statement figure. Right. And when we total both sides, we get the same total. Okay. Let's take a look at the next part now. So we have the insurance account amount prepaid at April 1st, 2007 was 200. Okay. A prepaid expense is a current asset, classified as an asset, and assets have debit balances at start, so we're going to see that on the debit side here. Next, amount paid during the year was 3200 When you pay an expense, a credit cash book, you debit the expense account, so you're going to see that there as well. At the end, amount prepaid at March 31st included in the theory, it was 240 Okay, so if it's still prepaid at end, that balance is going to be brought down on the credit, debit side, sorry. But prior to being brought down on the debit side, you're going to be carried down from the credit side like that. And of course, now we're missing a figure to help the account balance. That is going to be the income statement figure. How do we find it? You add up the items on the debit side and subtract the item on the credit side. That's going to give you your income statement figure or insurance expense incurred. Totaling up both sides will give us the same total of 3400 Right. Okay, cool. So those are the expense accounts, right? Let's take a look at the revenue accounts. The first one up is rent revenue. Now, before we get into it, if you want to check out my video on how to do revenue accounts, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. I think I do these questions as well, but let's continue with them anyway. All right. So amount received in advance at April 1st, 07 was 300. An amount received in advance is a prepayment. A prepaid revenue is classified as a liability because it means people have paid us in advance of us having delivered whatever it is we have to deliver, a good or a service. So now we have an obligation to provide said, said good or service or refund to them. And once we have an obligation to transfer benefits or resources to some party, that's a liability. So that's why the balance is going to be brought down on the credit side like that. April 1st balance brought down 300. Further rent received during the year was 1200. So when we receive money, you're going to debit the cash book and credit where it came from. So we're going to credit the rent revenue account for 1200. And you'll see it says that there, cash book 1200, right? Now, <clears throat> it says rent paid and rent received in advance at the end of the year, including in 12, was 250. 
Right. So if we have rent received in advance, that's still going to be a prepaid revenue, which is still going to be brought down on the credit side. But prior to being brought down on the credit side, it has to be carried down on the debit side. So now we're missing a figure. That's the income statement figure. How do we find it? Balance off the account. Add up the items on the credit side, subtract the debit, the loan item on the debit side, and you're going to get your income statement figure for rent revenue in code. So of course now, we are going to total up both sides and get the same total of 1500 and we're good to go. The final item that we're going to take a look at here is commissions revenue. Amount owing at April 1st, 07 was 700 So if they are owing us, that's an asset. It's like debtors or accrued revenue. As a matter of fact, it is accrued revenue, which is an asset. And assets have debit balances at start. All right? So did I not highlight this? Okay, cool. Next, commissions received during the year was 3500 So again, if you receive money, you're going to debit your cash book and credit where it came from. So you are going to credit the commissions revenue account with $3,500. The commissions revenue owing at the end of the year was 800 So it's still owing at end, which means it's still an accrued revenue, which is an asset. So that balance is going to be brought down on the debit side. But prior to being brought down on the debit side, you have to be carried down from the credit side like so. And we're missing a piece of information here. What is that piece of information? That's the income statement figure for commission revenue earned. How do we calculate that? Well, we balance off the account. You add up the items on the credit side, you subtract the loan debit side item, and you get 3,600 for the income statement figure. Totaling both sides now will give us the same total of $4,300. Okay, now we have just one more part of the question. It says identify the balance sheet item under which commission's revenue owing at March 31st, 2008 and four above will appear. So if it's commission's revenue owing, like I mentioned before, it is simply going to be classified as a current asset. And that's the end of the question. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question four from the May 2008 PUA paper two. If you have any further questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some pretty useful PUA handouts. Anyway, guys, as per usual, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.